somebody also assumed that I have a boyfriend. You are. Victoria and welcome back to my channel period or oh, welcome to my channel period today we're going to be doing reading your assumptions about me that's pretty self-explanatory basically I put in a post on Instagram basically asking for assumptions about me I'm going to place the assumptions on the screen as I read them off and yeah I'm going to be reading the assumptions out of my book because Instagram has this update to where, like, you can't see who viewed your story after 24 hours, so I cannot see the old assumptions, so thank God I screenshotted those and put them in this book before they were able to do that. The first assumption is, I mean, it's not really an assumption, but whatever you call it, it says, I thought you were funny, and I still do. Thank you. Um, I don't really consider myself funny. I consider myself goofy. Not specifically me being funny, but me laughing at a lot of things. I find a lot of things funny, so me being goofy. Yeah, maybe that's funny. I mean, I could agree with that. <laughs> Someone said, I assume you were mean. Um, I'm not a mean person at all. I'm actually one of the nicest people you will ever meet. I'm a very goofy person. I'm always smiling. Only way you're going to catch me being mean or see, like, my mean side is if you put me that way or you get on that side of me, which is very rare. And if it does happen, it takes a lot out of me to act that way towards you, to be honest with you. The next assumption is, I assumed you didn't like me. Now, I wrote this down, I honestly don't remember who said that or whatever, but, um, I probably saw it before, but I clearly do like you. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know why you would assume I wouldn't like you, but I like you. You're cool. Why you are? But I know somebody, it's somebody I'm cool with. Somebody said, I thought you were bougie or something, lol, but now I know you're not. I love you so much. I love you so much more. I keep, I don't remember who it was, but I love you so much more. I'm not bougie at all. Maybe, uh, I mean, the exact definition of bougie, let's look that up. To me personally, I don't think I'm bougie, but like, depending on what kind of terms you're, like, depending on how you're using the word bougie, um, I guess I expect higher for myself, so... I guess so. Somebody said, I assume you were spoiled. Um, I am very far from being spoiled. I am very well not spoiled. <laughs> um, I mean, it's oftentimes that I do get things that I ask for, but it's not like all the time. Like, I just like, a, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not spoiled though. I just, I'm not spoiled. Somebody also assumed that I have a boyfriend. You are. Somebody said I assumed you were the only child, LMAO. So I am not the only child. I actually have three other siblings, two being on my mother's side and one on my father's side. Um, yeah. Y'all probably met one before, which is my sister and I, Kendra. Then I also have my brother Malik and my brother Larry. Larry's the oldest, and he's on my father's side. And I, Kendra, is the second oldest on my mother's side. And Malik is the next oldest and then I'm the youngest. Somebody also assumed that I was shy. I am very shy. Like, if you know me by now, you know I am very shy. If I do not know you, if I have not been around you or anything like that, I will not talk. I will sit there quiet, family or not. If I have no idea who you are, I will not speak. I am a very shy person. Once I get to know you though, I wish I remember who these people were because like, I could, would add them in the video or whatever, but I didn't write who they were. It says, I thought you were one of those stuck up popular girls. That just sounds so like, weird, like, popular girls? Like, who says that, first of all? Second of all, I am not stuck up at all, and nor am I popular. Maybe popular where? Stuck up where? Confusion has struck me. Somebody also assumed that I fight a lot. That is very incorrect. You will rarely see me fighting. It takes a lot out of me to really put my hands on you. If you hurt me in such a way physically or mentally to the point where I cannot take it anymore, then that's when you will catch me fight. Or if you just put your hands on me in general. Speak about my family, that, like especially like my deceased ones that I love so much. And then that will really hit something in me to put my hands on you. But as far as talking about me, if you don't say it to my face, then I honestly don't really care. 
So Saturn and I don't really fight a lot. The final one is, I assume that you have perfect grades. Okay, so that is incorrect. Um, technically it is correct, but it's incorrect. When I was in elementary, straight A's. I mean, well, you know, they did like E's and G's in elementary. So straight E's, basically A's all the time. Then I got in middle school and always got A's. The lowest I ever got was a B minus, to be honest with you. I got to high school and things changed. Now, I still put in the same amount of effort, but it's so much more to high school. It's so stressful, especially for me just coming from middle school to go to high school. And now I'm starting to get like the gist of it and basically starting to understand how it works and how much effort and how hard I need to work to maintain those stable grades. So... Technically, yes, I had perfect grades or had perfect grades. You get what I'm saying. But now I know how it works and now I'm about to maintain my perfect grades. But yeah, um, I know that was a short video. I might do a part two because of it being so short. Um, yeah. So that was basically y'all assumptions about me. That was all for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, period, y'all. Um, follow all of my social medias that will be linked down below. And that's all. Bye, I love y'all. <laughs> peace. When do I ever just say peace? No.